Are you lost? Are you gone? Listen and believe on Is there a smile upon your face? Why you listen and believe on? The record is called Join the Parade, which is one of the tracks. I, I talk a lot about New Orleans and um, post-Katrina and the jazz parades um, that happen when people are being buried. Um, so there's, which in the end in New Orleans is a big celebration. It's the greatest combination of things. By the time I got to the Grammys, I was excited, but for me, it was anything but overnight. Walking in Memphis, was walking with my feet ten feet off a beer. Walking in Memphis, but do I really feel the way I feel? I had a lot of songs. The one thing in listening back to them again after all this time that was always true for me was that none of them seemed to add up to a record. It was really kind of a, a point in time where I sort of felt like, I want to deconstruct everything and try to find another sound and do something completely different. That's the thing I'm interested in. What makes an album from beginning to end a real sort of listening experience? Something that sounds like it all fits. I had about four or five that I knew should be part of my next record. But I was just waiting and waiting and waiting until I could get another six or seven that seemed to work with those. And that took a long, long time till I got there. And interesting how I finally did get there. And singer Mark Cole, known for his 1991 hit, Walking in Memphis. He's recovering after being shot in the head in an attempted carjacking in Denver. Just coming back from a gig in Colorado, the guy was trying to get our car to make a, a pretty long story short. And he didn't succeed in getting our car, but he did succeed in, in shooting me in the head. An unbelievable miracle. The doctors all said, you're the luckiest unlucky bastard we've met in a long, long time. And then Hurricane Katrina hit. And now I'm watching on TV all these other people going through this incredible devastation. My songwriting receiver got flipped into the on position after years of being pretty much off. The songs were coming ideas, titles, phrases, verses, and I'd literally have to rush to a tape recorder somewhere. Sometimes I'd call myself up on the telephone and record these ideas on my own message machine. These songs insisted on being written. From the ninth ward of the quarter to the Mississippi border, dance back from the grave. The first big decision is, you know, who is your creative team? And I made a short list and made a decision to go with Charlie Sexton, who has been in a guitar player in Dylan's band for years, but had also done a couple of records that I loved. You know, he used a lot of the same players I loved. The sound was sort of raw and yet very um, elegant in its own way. And I thought this might be an interesting experiment. And. Uh, it was. Let Me Be Your Witness was one of the songs that I knew had to be on this record. And I remember at the time, I didn't have a piano in my house. I ended up finding this beautiful church on West End Avenue. I would go in there from time to time. I came up with some music. For me, that song is the centerpiece of the record. Let me be your witness to your mystery. Your ecstasy to the tears you cry. I will testify to your longest night, to how hard you fell, to your inner life, a high place, your grace, to where you are and to who you've been. An old friend of mine wrote to me. And one of the first lines was, you know, who knows why this happened to you, 
maybe life is curious to see what you do with the gift of being left alive. What a great love. And within a day, I had a song called Live Out the String. And thank the whole wide universe of guys for letting you live out the string. Listening to Levon is the opening track. You know, it talks about a, a young man who's got his girlfriend in his father's car. This great sound comes out on the radio and all of a sudden, he doesn't know the girl is there anymore. One of the people for me that was huge like that was Levon Helm from the band. I was lost, I was gone. Listening to Levon, I was looking in Mary's eyes. I believe in these songs and I believe in this record. For me right now, it is just about how to bring it to the stage and, and play it. I'm happy with what I've got in the can and I can't wait to get it out. Are you lost? Are you gone? Listen and leave on. Is there a smile upon you?